Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Welcome back to the Thinker everyone. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm cracking on with the barbecue area. The barbecue is over there at the minute. Um, I've cleaned all these walls off, got rid of all the loose stuff, all the rubbish and that that I wanted to get rid of. I've got a big hole here. I've just found some stones, these that are going in. They're not fixed at the minute as you can see. They will be soon. Um, two up the top here. Um, boarding up to the roof there, not fixed, just placed in place and then there's another three up at this corner and one to go on here. Um, that's the main bulk of the actual rebuilding and refitting stones. So I want to try and get that done. Um, I say I've not got a lot of time, I'm picking Sharon up um, later in a bit. So if I can get this done though, it'll bode well and give me a good start for tomorrow because that should have all gone off to a certain extent and I'll be able to crack on with just filling all the smaller holes in and starting on the final point in. So I've taken all the stones out now, I've got to remember how they got back, um, apart from the top two, that's not too bad up there. Um, because I want to get it all cleaned off, I'm um, going to give it a good vacuum first get all the dusty stuff off as you can see there's plenty of it um, and then damp it down and I can get my mix on and get them stuck in place so I'm going to get Henry my long suffering vacuum <laughs> get it all cleaned up <laughs> to wipe all the woodwork down before because of all the dust I made the other day, horrendous dust. It's probably going to need a freshen up with the oil. But um, it's no problem. We'll do it all at the end. I'm going to start up here now. Um, no particular reason, probably because it's the most awkward to get at. Try not to spray the electric there on the other side. Um, <laughs> And I get these stuck in place. Uh, yes. <laughs> Throw it in by hand, I think that'll probably be easier. Yeah. There we go. Pack them in. got the ladder set up there in case I need to go up the top to come from the top downwards which I suspect I might have to. Right, I can just jiggle him into place now. <laughs> oh dear. So we get a bit under the other end that's it as well. Take a bit up here, get a different perspective. Oh, that's it. Pretty good. <laughs> right, next. These problem children up here. I'm just wetting each area as I do it because it dries out incredibly quickly. Wet the stones down as well. Just got to remember how they went in. I'm 
I think that one went like that. Did it go like that? Or did it go like that? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, the joy. No, it definitely wasn't that way. I've got to go. I think uh, that was it. Yes, that was it. And then that one goes in there. Yeah, and then the other one just above it. Right, I'll get them in. Next is this one. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'd love to carry on, but unfortunately, as I said, I can't. Um, I think the next thing, I'm not going to try and point it up in one. There's like tons of there's a hand size hole there, there's another one there. Tons of big holes that I can get um, stick stones in to make the final pointing a bit easier. Um, it's going to need hundreds, literally hundreds and hundreds of stones to go in here. Um, so I think the next thing to do is to collect a load, just bring them in and um, then we can start pointing in the morning or pointing, start getting these bigger holes filled in in the morning and which will eventually lead to the, the pointing. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with that. It's, um, it's coming on. Right, look who's back. Yes, I'm back. My one-armed assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so. no, not sure what use I'll be, but... Um, you have a good trip. I had a good trip, it was a challenge. Mum's, yeah. mum's legs don't work and I'd only got one arm, so, but we, we got by, <laughs> oh between dear. us. Between the team, <laughs> teamwork. Yeah. So, as well as picking shower up, I also went and collected the solar panels, which are in the back of here, um, which should be interesting, because I think when we open the door, they might just slide back out. We've got to get them out. They're big and awkward and helping. and we've got three hands yes. between us. Shall we go then? Let's do it. Shall we dare? Yeah. Yeah. Ready to catch it. Here it comes. All right. <laughs> I've got this side. Hold on. That's it. Okay. Right. Gently, gently. And out. Nails down a blackboard. Oh. There's an unconventional way to carry them. Oh, well, we haven't scratched them. Right. Let's try this one first. That's it. That's it. Well, that one's all right. They're, okay. They're pretty tough, these panels, actually. They take hailstones and all sorts. Right, we'll get them in. <laughs> That's two out of three, all right. The other one will be um, fantastic. As I say, they're super tough. Um, they withstand big hailstones and all sorts, so not too worried. Right, get this one in as well, and then we'll come back with the other one. Oh yeah. So a little bit premature with the solar panels. What we thought was going to be a quick job um, has turned into a massive job. They're going on the roof up here and over there. Um, the next thing I want to do um, is start putting the big stones or medium sized stones in this wall to consolidate it. I'm not starting anywhere in particular, I'm just going to take the wheelbarrow up the land and fill it or get a load of stones in the wheelbarrow and just start randomly putting them in. Um, yeah, let, let the pointing commence. So I've got the final load of rubble off the wall to get rid of and then I'm going to go and fill it with some stones. Right, so we've got half a wheelbarrow full of stones. I've tried to pick ones that I think will be the most useful in the wall. You do get better at it with practice and we've had quite a bit of that. Um, some of these are quite dirty because of where they've been. Um, so I'm going to get a bucket of water 
um, to rinse them all off and that before we stick them on the wall. Unfortunately we've got one bucket, one suitable bucket for this um, that doesn't leak without holes in it and we can't find it. So we're going to have a look for that, get these done and I need to get this outside done then we can do the inside to get the solar done. It's a, when you know the story. Now we found the bucket. <laughs> Come on Till. I'm just going to chuck it in a wheelbarrow because the wheelbarrow doesn't leak either. Cool. So the next thing is to give it a good vacuum. We stop chasing Alfie <laughs> uh, until it's chasing Alfie. Um, I, as I don't know exactly where I'm going to be working on the wall, because I'm just going to pick them up, stick them where they'll go. I need to vacuum the whole wall down. But once it's done, it should hopefully be all right. <laughs> Right, so here we go, mixed made. Um, spray. I'm not going to wet the wall down as it dries so quickly. Just each bit that it gets through the same. I'm just going to pick a stone out, see where it fits. So I've got one for there. We'll start off there, and um, should be that one, I think. Look at that, perfect. Let's get it in. <laughs> Throw some lime at it. Give him a good tap. Clean off the excess. And um, we'll carry on. Put about 50 stones in there, and um, looking at it, it doesn't actually seem to have made much difference. But looking at it from a distance, I can see here there's obviously some bigger gaps and holes in this bit. I am in the shadow here, so I hope you can see that. So I think now I'm going to focus on this area down here and get that beefed up a little bit. picked a few out <laughs> to go in them in. You know, you need mortar to hold them, <laughs> but we'll have it in anyway because it's better. Uh, what have we got this one? It 
looks faster as well when you've already prepared the stones. <laughs> There's a hole right through there that this one will fill up. Again I'm going to come in from the back and um, do the same on the other side. Lovely. Right. So this one then it's back to hunting again. That way. Look at that, what a nice fit. As I put each one in, I put those two in there now, it's leaving me an obvious space for the next ones. I'll need to let these go off before I tap one in there. Um, so another reason why it takes so long. But um, I'm going to move on this way. Well that's looking a bit more like. Um, it's so satisfying to see a bit of progress done. So the next morning, drying lovely, looking good. Um, I'm just going to carry on filling the still loads and loads of holes. I've got 50 plus stones here at the minute. I just counted them because I just changed the water and rinsed them all off because it was really murky. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to again start with the biggest ones and just keep going and going until we're ready to do the smaller ones and the final pointing. Get the top of this wall um, patched up, etc, etc. Doesn't make a great video I'm sure, so I'll just carry on. Right, okay, so I've done everything oops, <laughs> um, from the sitting on the floor position up to about here, um, that wall as well. So um, we're on a hunt for stones, we've nearly used these, there's a few left but not many, hello Tilly. Um, and we're just going to carry on, I'm probably going to do that wall first and then work on to this wall. Um, but yeah, it's nearly ready for the, well nearly ready, it's probably a third ready for the final pointing, but I want to get that done. I don't know if I'll get it done today, but certainly um, in the next couple of days. So we've just been out and collected a load of flattish and various type stones that were, I think, going to be useful to fit in all the gaps. I'm going to stick them all in and look at here. Go in there because it's a bit bigger. Makes it easier to find them. Ready for the next instalment. So I managed to get uh, all the medium sized stones in this wall. Um, just the little ones now. We lost a lot of time today. We have, yes. I had to go back to the uh, hospital this morning. I don't know why they gave me an appointment for 10.30 because uh, it didn't make any difference. I was just sat with a load of other people waiting for my turn. So we've lost, what, two and a half, three hours this morning. Oh, yeah. However, the good news is it's healing well. I don't have to have an operation, which I'm absolutely thrilled about because obviously that will put me right back and have to yes. start all over again. So it's kind of good news. It's good news, most definitely. I've got to go back in a couple of weeks now to have the cast off, which is quite surprisingly soon. I thought it might be a bit longer than that and then it'll just be um, a support so I should be back to normal and be able to help out a bit more because I've been, well, not much use, have Rubbish. I? Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. So anyway, um, what time? I've got a bit of time left today. I'm going to try and get at least one mix on and start with the smaller stones in this wall um, to get it ready for pointing. Yes. Right, so we're doing another mix. We're still on this NHL. It's strange stuff, this batch we've got. Um, it actually gets hot. Um, Chris discovered it first, getting hot. The first batch, Chris has used pallets of it. The first lot he used didn't get hot. And then the, the second lot, and the same stuff that we've got, gets really hot when you mix it. And um, he spoke to the suppliers, he spoke to the manufacturers, and they reckon that the, the lime, the quick lime, initially used um, to mix it hadn't gone properly at the time so there's still a little bit of um, liveliness left in it but I'll mix it up and show you the problem is with it you've got to let it get that hot it 
sends the water out of it so you've got to leave it for 15 minutes and then mix it back up again which is a pain I'll be so glad to get back onto our hydrated line I'll get this mixed up and then um, show you what it's doing it's crazy so there we go it's mixed up lovely consistency for um, setting stones in it's got a it's almost just going to stick it in it it's at at the moment <laughs> it's just adjusting 40 degrees Celsius that's mainly because the the sand's been sat out in the sun on the front uh, so I'll leave it for 15 minutes and um, come back to it and show you what it does we started using this now it just causes no end of problems um, so yeah we'll come back to it shortly so while I'm waiting I've been collecting another bucket full of um, smaller stones this time um, to fill in some flat ones, some long ones, some thin ones, some round ones I've still got these in my barrow um, should I come across a, a place that needs a bigger one so we'll make a start, the wasps are out in force today, get out and make a start as soon as that line's ready we'll have to knock it back up again but I'll show you that in a minute so, just after 5 minutes maybe closer to 10 it's up to 55 it's cooling down as soon as I pulled it out put it back in 55 Celsius whether it's still rising or not I'm not sure it doesn't matter but look at it it's just, it's just a crumbly lump now you see the difference in that so what I'm going to do now I'm going to knock it back add some more water get it back to the consistency that we want it to be and um, perhaps leave it another five minutes yeah it's actually quite hot that to touch Oof. which means I think anything high 50s is feels hot but doesn't burn you it's not in danger of burning us so I'm going to add some more water to it and um, we'll look at it in a minute right so we've knocked it back a nice usable mix um, down to about 42 now and um, it's obviously not the sun that's heated it up because it's in the shade um, so I'll leave that another five minutes see what it does hopefully it'll be ready to go now and crack on I could have had four stones done <laughs> right so as always wet it down I'm going to start at the top um, just start filling in any any of the bigger gaps and then just keep working my way along I don't know if I'll get so not much time left I can feel a nice cold beer coming on scorching today it is beautiful day nice to be in the shade under here again don't do too much because it dries out in in not long at all right that'll do Let's, um, start picking stones ah. bigger down about a hundred to go <laughs> cool so carry on right well there's 50 odd nearly 60 stones gone in in this bit here um, it's going to take a while uh, as always and um, might just be able to sneak in over mixing but we need to go and collect some more stones because we're using them pretty much as fast as we can get them um, at least try and get this other half the top done maybe into the corner that will be a third of it probably <laughs> so we're off again one I particularly want to get in is one up here <sighs> that gap's been bugging me <laughs> silly little things get him up there and get him in lovely that's pretty cool right carry on as usual Right, so I'm pleased to say it's finished. Um, it's ready for its final pointing. We've pushed on. Shannon was collecting stones for me. Um, I've been doing mixes and firing them into the wall. And I've actually got it done. It's ready for pointing. There are one or two smaller gaps in it um, that will need filling as we go. 
but it's easier often to just do them as and when required as we get to them as we find them when we're doing the pointing um, so that is super happy days um, yeah it's been a bit of a big push on it today we've worked on late <laughs> um, but yes I think it's definitely time for an ice cold beer now so we're at the table of ice cold beer with an ice cold beer it looks a bit flat because the glasses were wet <laughs> <laughs> took, took the head straight off it but not to worry it's still cold and refreshing um, celebrate a drink for Sharon the yes, good news indeed. on Sharon's arm yeah and um, you're getting a bit more mobility now, a bit I less am. pain. Yeah, so hopefully get some oil on this. We're going to get another cup of oil on this table. I can do that with one hand. You can, no, one, can. one handed jobs we're going to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But done well with the wall. Yeah, very, very we're happy with that. Now, we we've earned this beer as well. Yeah. So we're going to call it a day there. Thank you as always for watching. Cheers to everyone that helped uh, with the beer fund. Yes. Uh, it's much appreciated. <laughs> Thanks to all our patrons, of course. Um, if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it costs absolutely nothing and really helps us out. Yeah. As does giving us a like if you've enjoyed the video. Indeed. And thank you to everyone that sent me good wishes. Yes, that's those are much appreciated. Absolutely. As well, yeah. Yeah. Meant to say before. So we'll crack on with the point tomorrow.